Okay, we're going to be talking about some parallel and perpendicular lines. On this one, it's talking about a perpendicular line, so I need to find the slope of the line they gave me. And uh, to find the slope, I need a few exact points. So one exact point I have is right here. Another exact point I have is about right there. So in this case, it looks like I've gone up one and over about three, or well, a two, sorry. So up one and over two. So the slope of this line is one half. Slope is change in y over change in x or rise over run. So up one over two is a slope of one half. Now any slope that is parallel to that, a parallel slope would be equal to one half because parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocals. So instead of being a positive one over two, it's a negative two over one. You see how you flip the fraction and change the sign. Now how I'm going to do this on the graph is I'm just going to pick any point on my graph. So I'm going to just go start at zero, zero for my first point. And um, I'm going to click and drag. So I'm going to go down two and over one. And if you can see, if you do this correctly, the line should cross at a right angle. You can kind of visually see that you did it right. And then you should be able to uh, mark that solution as correct. And it did ask for your original slope, which was one half, and your perpendicular slope, which was negative two over one. And then I would say, submit your answer. And that would be correct. We'll go ahead and try another one. This one is talking about a parallel line. So I need to find the slope of this line. And once again, to find the slope, I need a couple exact points. So there's an exact point there. Uh, this is an exact point there. So I'm going down two and over four. So my slope is negative two over four. It's a good idea to reduce that as negative one half. I'm not, I think Delta Math will expect you to reduce those. So I could divide both of them by two and get negative one half. So my original slope is negative one half. Anything parallel to that is also negative one half. Now that undefined button is there because if you do end up with a vertical line, remember it has an undefined slope. And then to graph your parallel line, I just pick a point. I usually go with the origin and then I drag down two and over four, or you could do down one and over two. Either way, it gives you a parallel line. And then once you have your line and your two answers, you submit and you get it right and you go on with your life and it's great. I will go ahead and try something from the next section. Still talking parallel perpendicular in this section though, they're giving you equations. So the key is to solve them for Y. So for this first equation, I'll need to add 10 X to both sides. So I have 25 Y equals 10 X plus 200. Then to get y by itself, I'll need to divide everything by 25. And technically you have a plus eight on the end, but that doesn't really matter. What matters is 10 over 25 reduces to two fifths because you can divide five into 10 and five into 25. And we'll go ahead and change colors to do my other equation. This one to get y by itself, I would subtract two x from both sides. So that would give me a 5y equals, uh, let's see, negative 2x plus 40. Once again, divide by 5 to get y by itself. And y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 8. Once again, the plus 8 doesn't matter. What I'm really caring about is the slope. So this slope is a positive 2 fifths. This slope is a negative two-fifths. They're not the same since one's positive and one's negative. They're not perpendicular because although I changed the sign, I did not flip the fraction. So uh, these are neither parallel nor perpendicular. Now this option for the same line will come up if you have the same slope and the same y-intercept. If that would have been exactly the same, if they both would have been a um, two-fifths x plus eight, and it was the exact same equation, that's when you would use the same line option. So that's how you handle this one. And remember, parallel means exactly the same. Perpendicular means change sign and flip fraction.